Howdy y'all. How's it going with you guys today? It is a rainy day here in beautiful southern Arkansas. It has been pouring and pouring and pouring. I think for like 24 hours now. It has been pouring rain. So everybody's stuck in the house. Actually, Howard got in trouble and had to go spend some time in the crate. He was a very bad boy because he was demonstrating aggressive posturing towards Norma Jean, and that is unacceptable. Norma Jean's very old. She's 19 years old, so no other cats are allowed to be aggressive towards her in any way. So he got in trouble. He didn't really hurt her or attack her. But he was chasing her around. He was pinning her up in the corner. He was making her growl and slap at him. So he got in trouble. So he's kind of pouting. And uh, Norma Jean's feeling very superior, of course. <laughs> and everybody else is hiding from the thundering rainstorm. It is most definitely a rainy day. Thundering rainstorm. And there was some big, big lightning earlier so yeah that's what we're up to everybody else is hiding besides these two because they had a little bit of drama so yeah I got me a nice cup of tea I don't always have tea sometimes I have coffee this time me and me and Spock <laughs> are enjoying some tea okay so let's move on to my purpose for being here which is to share my weekly journal with you guys so this is going to be let's see the week of Friday the 29th through um, today which is Thursday the 5th yeah that's the last one that's today Thursday the 5th and, um, oh, what are you doing? What you doing over there, Norm? Messing up my rug? <laughs> so, yeah, um, going to have this this week um, from the 29th to the 5th. So, I guess that makes today um, Cinco de Mayo. It sure is. 5th of May. I think that's Mexican Independence Day. I know a lot of Americans use it as an excuse to have a party. But uh, yeah, t today's Cinco de Mayo. I don't know when I'll get this uploaded. Possibly tomorrow. I guess we'll just have to see. Somebody's messing up my rug. What you doing over there, Norma Jean? <laughs> okay, so Friday... The 29th, I got messed up on my dates a little bit there with that one week that I did all in one day. I somehow got my dates messed up, but I figured it out. So this was the actually the 29th. It was Friday, partly cloudy and hot with a high in the high 70s and a low in the high 50s. And I know uh, upper 70s doesn't really sound like hot, but when it's really, really humid, it is hot. It makes it feel much hotter. And it has been super humid. Today, I was all over the place. I took Slim to meet his ride for work. And then I came home and I got ready to go to town all day. First, I got my Happy Mail all ready to go, making sure I had a list of everything that was inside each box. They were all properly addressed for where they were going. Then off to the post office. And surprise, I had a package waiting there for me. It's a gift for Slim, and I can't wait to see what it is. It was from Kelly, of course, our lovely Kelly. Um, then I went to pay my insurance for the next six months. And I talked to my insurance agent a little bit about YouTube, surprisingly, as he is interested in starting a channel. He was wanting to know, you know, how do you grow? How do you make money? How do you get viewers? Um, and I told him there are ways to grow your channel and to get monetized quickly. Uh, but I don't do any of that. I let my channel grow organically. I mainly want to interact with my YouTube friends and to share whatever I find interesting in my world. But like I told him, there's a niche for everyone. 
yeah, I don't, I don't really want to go to those, um, channels where it's like, grow your channel and you, you sub to me and I'll sub to you kind of thing. Cause then you wind up getting a whole bunch of subs that, you know, you never really interact with. And, uh, I find it difficult to, um, find the time to really write back on the comments like I want to. I, I normally like to write a good long reply and interact with my viewers that decide to comment. I really enjoy doing that. Getting to know people through my YouTube channel has just been wonderful. Uh, but I don't really, I don't care about getting monetized. I don't care about how many views or likes I get. This is like my video journal. This is a little piece of my life that I'm sharing. And um, so I'm, I'm not really pushing it. I don't want a whole bunch of viewers. I just want the ones that actually want to watch. Okay, so then I went to Ashdown to pick up the photo of Forrest and Kaylee. I was disappointed to see that it arrived rolled up. So I got a picture frame to put it in. Originally, I was going to keep it. But when I realized we were going to meet the kids in Texarkana tomorrow, I decided to give the photo to them. I can have another one made. And this time, I'll go to Walgreens and I'll get the print there so it won't be rolled up in a tube. I also plan to give uh, the kids a stack of other pictures that I had printed from their wedding day. Young people never have real pictures these days. And it's true. I don't know anybody under 30 that has a photo album full of actual photographs. Like, you know, like we all did whenever our kids were little and you took pictures of everything and especially Christmas and birthdays and stuff. I don't, young people don't do that. They have a bunch of digital crap and then for some reason they lose it. Like they, their phone dies or gets stolen or uh, their memory card glitches out or they drop their phone in the toilet or something and they lose all their pictures, like really important pictures. So I encourage you to print real pictures. It's easy as pie. Okay, so Saturday the 30th, I had that date messed up again. It was hot and cloudy, so that means muggy and humid. High 70s, high in the high 70s and low in the mid 60s. Today I got to see my sunny, and I always spell it sunny, like sunny day and sunny sky, uh, not with an O because that's, that's how I think of him as my little, my little sunshine. Um... He's not little anymore. He's a really grown man. He's 25 years old and he's married. So <laughs> he'll always be my sonny. <laughs> so we met him and Kaylee in Texarkana so that Slim could go with Forrest to Lowe's and show him exactly what to get for some home repairs he has to do. It's structural stuff, so he wanted to be sure to do it properly. And as Slim has built houses and banks and schools and you name it around here, and he was a carpenter and framer for many years, he knows just what to get and how to use it. First, we met them at the Outback Steakhouse and had a nice lunch together. I've missed them both, and I enjoyed talking to them so much that we took forever to order as we kept getting distracted, uh, and we were talking to each other and didn't decide what we wanted to eat, so it was a nice visit. Um, then we went to Lowe's, and basically me and Kaylee just chatted and followed the guys around while they shopped and discussed how to do the repairs. Unfortunately, they had to go right after so he could get busy on his repair project, but I was so happy to have seen them, and I gave them the pictures, and they really liked the pictures, and uh, it was really nice spending a little time with them. And uh, so if we drive to Texarkana from where we're at, and they drive to Texarkana from where they're at, it cuts both of our drives in half so we can see them without having to drive, uh, you know, they would have to drive two hours one way to come here. Um, so I got home and I texted to see if KK wanted to come and do some jewelry, but she had spent hours at the beauty shop getting her hair done that morning, so she didn't feel like it. And I don't blame her. And I was feeling lazy myself. And Slim and I just relaxed, and we watched a new movie that he had got called The Eternals. It's a Marvel movie, and was pretty good. We both enjoyed most of the Marvel movies. I particularly like Doctor Strange and Guardians of the Galaxy storylines. Oh, and Iron Man. 
and Captain America. Okay, all of them. <laughs> I really do like the Marvel movies. Not all of them. There's not all of them. I'm not crazy about, um, I can't even remember the one, the, the Daredevil, I think it was. Um, there's a couple of them I didn't really like. I didn't think they were good. But, you know, they're, they're kind of churning out those Marvel movies pretty, pretty quick. There's a whole lot of them that come out and you, you just, you know, I don't expect to like every one of them. Okay, so Sunday, this was the 1st of May. It was partly cloudy and hot with a high in the low 80s and a low in the low 60s. Hadn't seen Willow in a couple days. I guess he might just pop in from time to time to see if it's still okay to grab a meal here. I'm sure he can find plenty to eat if he's not picky. Frogs are everywhere, but I miss him. Looks like it might rain soon, and my hip has been aching today, so I know some kind of weather's on the way. It's, uh, it's strange that it usually doesn't hurt during bad weather, but only before. So I haven't done much in the yard today. I just put on a pot of beef stew in the slow cooker, took care of the cats. Slim and I let them all outside together, and I kept an eye on everyone while he restaked the willow tree. The cats enjoyed being out together. They seem more confident and frisky when they're all together compared to when I take them out one or two at a time. I guess they feel like a pack of house tigers when they're all together, or house lions, whichever. Uh, Slim opened his happy mail gift from our favorite Auntie Kelly, and it was filled with wonderful Bob Ross-themed gifts. Perfect for Slim, as he loves Bob. There was a coloring book full of his own paintings to color and a soft, cuddly, smoke gray hoodie with a picture of Bob. And it says, no mistakes, just happy accidents. That's so awesome. And also Bob Ross bobblehead that speaks. And he came with a booklet of Bob's paintings. Uh, the little bobblehead says like a dozen different lines and they are all great. And we both just loved all the gifts. I hope to do a show and tell video soon to share these fantastic gifts. Thank you, Kelly. So, yeah, I did a show-and-tell video. I haven't got it up yet because, believe it or not, I just uploaded a video of Howard. And the video was 14 seconds long. And I went and I put, the, put my phone in the back bedroom where there's the very best signal in the house. And I propped it up in the window where the best signal is. And to upload that 14-second video took 47 minutes. So that's why I can't upload anything. 14 seconds. And I, it, I can't really watch anything because I'll watch about 10 seconds of it and then it'll buffer for three or four minutes. And so, yeah, uh, that's why my uploads have been thin and sporadic. And then you get a big dump of them because I'm somewhere with signal and I'm trying to upload as many as I can. Okay, so let's move on to Monday, the second rain high in the mid 70s, low in the mid 60s. Today was a bright and happy day, even though it rained all day. First thing this morning, Willow was on the porch asking for food. So I fed him and uh, I sat outside with him for a little while while he ate and drank. He still doesn't want me to touch him, but he does allow me to sit very close to him while he eats. Uh, then the mail lady came with some happy mail for me from Voon. Apparently, she thought it was my birthday coming up at the end of the month, and she sent me a birthday present. It was such a happy surprise, and it really made my day. I'm going to wait to open it until the perfect time and do a nice unboxing video to share with my, to share my unbirthday gift with everybody. I feel so behind on everyone's videos, too, because I don't get much opportunities to catch up with all this terrible signal and bad weather, but hopefully soon I can catch up and more fully participate in my friends' channels and stay in touch better. Anyways, thank you, Voon. I'm still working on your blanket, but it won't be long now. That's true. It won't be long now. I've been putting in some time on it. So here's my happy mail from Voon. I got stickers covering up our info there, but yeah, and it's so heavy. Oh my gosh. Ooh so heavy i can't wait to see what's in here she always sends me such wonderful things so thank you thank you thank you Vern. i love it already i don't even know what it is 
And uh, I, I'm always happy to get an unbirthday present, you know, because we only get one birthday every year, but you get 364 unbirthdays. <laughs> so I'm always happy to get an unbirthday present. And to be honest, uh, my husband and I are not real big on doing things on the day. I mean, we observe Christmas on the day, but birthdays, anniversaries, um, things like that. A lot of times we just do spontaneous gift giving, just random. We will randomly go out for a nice uh, date or we will randomly buy each other um, different things. Uh, not on the day, you know, like uh, he he could very well bring me home like flowers and a gift or something on a day that's that's nowhere near a holiday. And then maybe on Mother's Day or my birthday, we won't really do much. So we're not real big on doing stuff, you know, specifically on the day. So I am totally cool with having my unbirthday present or counting it as a very early birthday present. But uh, I am definitely going to wait till the perfect, perfect time to open this uh, because. I used to open them as soon as I got them, but I realized when I'm doing an unboxing, um, I need to be rested, not have a headache or any, you know, a bunch of aches and pains, uh, not be really tired, kind of be in a good mood, have plenty of time and not be rushed so that I can really enjoy opening the gift and share it with the person who gave it to me via this video uh, platform. Uh, I really... I feel like they've gone to the trouble to get me a gift. Then I should go to the trouble to open it when I'm feeling my best. So that's what I'm going to do. And lately, I have to be honest, I haven't been feeling my best. I've had headaches and body aches and uh, this bad weather gets me kind of feeling sluggish, you know, not really up to doing the stuff I need to do every day, that kind of stuff. So I'm waiting on uh, till the perfect time to open that gift. I learned that from my friend Rachel, and it is a real good way to do Happy Mail because I want to, uh, I want to fully, fully open it with a wonderful light heart and uh, give a great reaction, an authentic reaction, but still, I want to pick a good day for it. Um, okay, so I've still not planted the veggies or the dogwood tree as it's steady raining, and it's supposed to rain on until at least Wednesday. So I've been keeping the little veggies in the kitchen window, and if it stops raining, I'll put them out on the porch. They're growing, and they seem healthy so far. I don't mind the rain, but it's got to clear up before I can do much in the garden without making a big mud hole and a mess everywhere. Yeah, so I've got these uh, these plants here. I'm just keeping them here in the window. Um, and then, I don't know what you can see out there. There's the tree. I've got it kind of up against the house because it fell over. But yeah, they're doing good. They've doubled in size, but um, I haven't got a chance to plant them yet because it's just pouring, pouring rain everywhere. Okay, so moving on to Tuesday the 3rd. Rain. I mean, it's been raining all week. Rain, rain, rain. High in the mid-70s, low in the low 60s. Another rainy day, but... I'm making bread today anyway. It's been a while since I made some. So I got busy early and I made some dough and I let it rise. Then I punched it down. I put it in the buttered loaf pans for the second rise. Then I popped them in the oven till golden brown. I didn't put any water in the oven or spray the browning loaves because I didn't want crusty loaves. I wanted soft sandwich bread that I can slice easily. They turned out great and I love this recipe. Yeah, um, I've got what I made is over here uh, this is an extra loaf that I haven't cut yet and then this is what's left of that first loaf a couple of big thick pieces I'm having trouble cutting it um, into th and here's the little heel um, I'm having trouble cutting it into thin pieces because even though I bought a bread knife it still doesn't cut it well. So that's why I didn't cut this one. I just set it here. This was two days ago. And now that it's all cool and stable and 
it's not as fresh it's a little bit firmer i think this one will cut better and i can get thinner slices because these are gargantuan slices <laughs> okay so yeah um that bread turned out great and that's that um the recipe from that guy his youtube channel is called deep south texas he's a homesteader old cowboy guy from south texas and the uh, recipe is i think it's called making bread for beginners easy baking bread for beginning for, uh, excuse me baking bread for beginners and then there's like a little dash and it says easy and that's the name of the video and that's pretty much fail proof bread that i make from his recipe i really really love that recipe okay Decided to clean all the floors after I was done baking. I picked up all the cat's toys and tunnels so I could vacuum and all the cats disappeared as usual, except Naboo. All of them really dislike the vacuum cleaner and will usually make themselves scarce as soon as they realize what I'm up to. But our sweet Naboo is unconcerned and he'll even come into the room that I'm cleaning and lay around and watch the machine go back and forth over the carpets. He'll sometimes reach out and touch it when I push it close to him like he wants to play. I even have to move him out of the way sometimes because he likes being too close to the vacuum and it might get his tail. <laughs> so yeah, everybody hates the vacuum except Naboo. He likes it. He, he comes to wherever I'm at and will lay around and watch the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Weird cat. I uh, made grilled fish and shrimp with dill butter for our supper tonight, and instead of rice, as usual for a side, I made a slice of garlic toast from the French bread I'm, or from the fresh bread I made today. It was very good with the fish. Yes, it was. I didn't make rice. I just uh, put some butter and garlic powder on that, a couple slices of bread, and toasted them in the oven, and it was a delicious side for our grilled fish and shrimp. So Wednesday the 4th, it's sunny and hot. You can imagine how humid it was after days of rain. High in the mid 80s, low in the high 60s. Uh, it was just, you can imagine. So Willow was waiting on the porch this morning. I think he may just be coming and going because the weather's getting warmer and there's lots of easy small game around. So I assume he's just enjoying the season of plenty before the extreme heat of summer sets in and everything hides from the sun, if it can, including our old willow man. Woke up with a bit of a headache today, probably because I spent so much time writing emails on my phone last night. I got so frustrated because I wrote an important email full of information that was several pages long. And then when I tried to send it, it was dumped into the drafts and over half of it didn't save. Eventually, I figured out the problem, but still, um, I said much less in, than I did in my first draft, and I can't just reply. I have to compose a new letter in order for it to save and send properly, so I spent way more time on that than I intended to, and I was annoyed going to sleep, so that is probably why I had a headache. Yeah, I was getting really frustrated with my, I think it has to do with my lack of signal, it just won't send emails like it should. I don't know. It's, it was it was really frustrating and annoying. I did finally get my emails to send, but I didn't. The first draft was better. You know what I mean? Um, so I did a weigh-in today. I was 196.0 pounds. So, you know, still maintaining. I'm hoping to start to do more work outside in the yard, and that should help me drop a few pounds. But to be honest, I'm not really concerned about losing weight right now. My focus is more towards good health and good health overall and not doing whatever it takes to lose pounds. I'm still maintaining my weight without major gains, so I'm unconcerned with carbs and cows right now. I'm, I'm not, I'm just not worried about it. That's just not uh, uh, a main priority for me at this time. And, you know, your health should always be important, but um, I don't think you should... Uh, I don't think you should just obsess over it. And that's kind of how I get with diets. I kind of go overboard with them. So I'm not worrying about it right now. So moving on to today, it's Thursday the 5th. 
Cinco de Mayo. Pouring rain today. I bet that's putting a damper on people's Cinco de Mayo plans. High in the mid-70s, low in the high 60s. It's been basically uh, like right around 70 degrees all day and night. Um, rain, rain, and more rain today. Lots of thunder and lightning, too. Lightning struck very close to the house this morning. and It scared the crap out of me and these cats. I usually don't mind a good rain, especially when it's just pouring straight down and there's no wind. But I don't like thunderstorms. And this one is extra strikey. Yeah, there's been lots of lightning popping around. And that makes me nervous. But thankfully, we haven't lost our electricity yet. Which is not uncommon around here. We often lose power. Uh, thought about going shopping today, but the rain shut that down. Not only does it suck to try to do anything in the pouring rain, but Slim had to go into work today as they are working on one of the machines out there. I think it's like a bulldozer or a track hoe. Anyway, uh, I don't know when he may get off work today, so it wasn't a good day to keep the Jeep. So I'll go to town tomorrow. Oh, I got a terrible Charlie horse in my left calf in the middle of the night last night. Oh, boy, is that sucker sore today. So if you don't, I don't know if everyone calls it a Charlie horse. A Charlie horse is when you get like a really bad muscle cramp, like the kind that won't stop and you you have to actually like force it open if it's your foot or, or your leg or whatever. Um, that's what happened to me in the middle of the night and it was terrible. Um, I haven't had a leg cramp that bad in some years. So I'm going to be sure and get some bananas and avocados when I go to shop. Uh, they're both high in potassium and that helps present, prevent muscle cramps. I almost got some last time. I guess I should have because leg cramps are awful. I don't, if you've not had one, then count yourself blessed. I had them a lot when I was pregnant with my son, uh, almost daily, but uh, I haven't had them very much in the last 20 years or so, but I had one last night, and that sucker hurt. Um, I didn't see Willow today, no surprise, as it's pouring rain. He's probably snug and dry somewhere, sleeping the day away. I'm glad I fed him several times yesterday while he was around. Yeah, he came up to eat. Um, I've been giving him just like a little cup of food, uh, and if he eats it all, I'll give him some more because I don't want to feed possums, and if he leaves any scraps, then the possums come up, or the or raccoons or possums come up on the porch, and uh, we'll eat that, so I've been giving him just like a little, like it's probably half a cup, half a cup of food, and if he eats that, then I'll, I'll give him some more, so um, he ate like four or five times yesterday, so he's good, and uh, I'm sure he is hiding Hiding from all this rain, because my goodness, it is certainly pouring down rain. I got all my rugs picked up. There was actually a little bit of hail um, earlier this morning. I saw it bouncing off of the boards on the porch. There was some, some hailstones falling, about pea-sized, I guess. But it's very hot outside and very humid. It's about, oh, it's in the high 70s and muggy and very still, no wind. The rain's just pouring straight down. So, yeah. Uh, so, that was my journal for this week. And I thank you guys for joining me and, and Spock here. Um, and be sure to uh, live long and prosper. <laughs> and while you're living long and prospering, y'all try to be sweet. 